Um, are you excited? Yes. She's excited <laughs> because this is her very first time getting single braids. You've always wanted them, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to VEDA. Welcome back to the Zebra Tribe fam. So today is day seven of VEDA, which is in collaboration with all the other women. Their link should be in the description box below. And um, yeah, so definitely check out their channels. Also, um, yeah, today's video is a pre-recorded video that I had before and it is of me getting Charlotte's hair into single braids. And so I filmed it and I wanted to show you guys the tutorial as well as the, like the preparation when I did to her hair before it went into box braids. Also, forgive me on the footage because I ended up filming that one with my phone. As you guys can see, the upgrading quality I have been filming with my Canon g7x which is what i'm filming with all the time now so forgive me for that one but you know every now and again whenever something happened whether the battery dies or something i've got to film with what i have and so that is what i'm filming with so yeah if you guys want to see a hair video and you want to see what i did with charlotte's hair and got it into to box braids definitely check it out also i've got a video coming for my hair because as you guys can see it's going in single braids. It's not quite done yet, which is why I have this head wrap. You'll learn about that in tomorrow's video because I'm filming tomorrow's video today. And so you'll kind of see this look in tomorrow's video, but this is what we're doing. And I um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like today's video, as well as check out the ladies channels that I mentioned before at the beginning of beta and their, their channel links will be in the description box below. Enjoy the video y'all. Someone is going to get their hair braided. And I wanted to show you the before. This girl has so much hair and it's big. We'll see how long it takes to do. I'm not hoping to do it too small. We're gonna give we're gonna put her hair in box braids. And it's looking so cute right now. Look at you. You remind me of your younger self. You look just I don't know. Just look like, like I haven't aged. <laughs> That's right. The packages of braids that we will be using today are these ones, these what are they called? Express? Expressions. Okay, so yeah. And we have a number of colors that we're going to use. As I'm going along, I'll use my discretion, but we'll show you the progress as we go along. Are you excited? Yes. She's excited <laughs> because this is her very first time getting single braids. You've always wanted them, haven't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> your... Gabriel's had them, Michaela's had them, you've had them. And you're the only one? No, yeah. Okay, Except so Zoe, what's going to be your favorite not. thing about having them, you think? I don't know, I'll get, just get to do whatever style I want. Like, That's I can just true. catch it up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, <laughs> you're so cute. Okay, so yeah, we'll show you guys the progress as we continue, guys. So I wanted to start off by showing you guys the basics, and that's me washing Charlotte's hair because it her hair just needs, your hair just needs to be clean before it goes into braids, and that's what I'm doing. Also, ignore the fact that there is there are dishes in my sink next to me. Like, in a perfect world, I would love for them to be done, but it just made more sense for me to quickly clean one sink, wash her hair, and then just, you know, clean up my kitchen because I'm still going to have to wash up my sink. My main focus while I'm washing her hair is to ensure that her scalp gets clean. She does generally have a really clean scalp. She doesn't really get a lot of buildup, but I wanted to make sure that it was clean because with braids, your scalp is definitely exposed and nobody wants to walk around with flakes, <laughs> flaky scalp. So. so I wanted to make sure that her scalp was very clean. And of course you want to make sure that her hair is like really detangled as well because it's just a lot more difficult trying to part hair when it's super knotted and because she has so much of it i have to make sure that it's detangled that's like that's there's no option by the way if you didn't notice i am using the denman brush because everyone suggests using this for curly hair but honestly i still do not prefer it over the tangle tamer not even for my hair I don't I just don't think it's a tool that is versatile like that. I don't think it works in everyone's hair the exact same. I find it should just be I don't know. I don't find that it goes through her tangles or her knots really well and it's just I don't know, it frustrates me. So, I just want to put that out there that if you want to try, it, you can try, it. but I do still prefer the tangle tamer, I believe, as opposed to the tangle teaser and the Denman brush.
Before I get started, I do like to separate her hair into sections and then I will apply some leave-in conditioner as well as just some moisturizing oil before I start braiding. And I tend to do it in sections because I find it easier to make sure that the product is actually spreading well on like all, you know, strands of hair as opposed to just like on the surface. Also, I do know that a lot of people do like to straighten the hair before they get started, but I, I tend to just kind of um, braid it in its natural state. That's how I've always done it, and it works out fine. So long as you use moisturizer or some kind of you know cream base to smooth the hair out and it can stretch, uh, I never really have any issues with like strands or fuzzies and stuff like that. I think it probably is a big deal if your hair is short but if it's if it's long and it's moisturized and stuff i think it's okay not to mention it's one extra step that i can do without now for the installation i kind of um separate the braid into two parts and then kind of combine them together it's just a way of expanding the extension itself to make it a little bit longer charlotte's hair is really long so i have to make sure that the hair or the extension itself stretches all the way and to be honest the, the extensions were the same length as her hair so when you saw when you see her hair in the final footage her hair is exactly that long <laughs> there was no room to spare but i'm just trying to show you guys how i install it a little bit i try to braid it in this way sometimes i wrap it around but this is the way that I installed it in her hair. So for one reason or another, I didn't seem to get enough footage for Charlotte's hair. So I did mix hair in the same week. I, in fact, did all three girls hair within like two or three days. And so I wanted to use a little bit of her footage to show you exactly what the end result was. Um, I used the same method uh, I with mix. I did do hers a little bit bigger and I wasn't like very specific to ensure that the parts were like bang on. But overall, I think their hair looked great. Um, and yeah, they are just in the process of actually undoing their braids and whatnot and they will be will be doing it again so you'll have if you guys really are interested in knowing and seeing a closer view perhaps i can capture it in the next um footage next time i braid her hair and i hope you enjoyed today's video so thank you so much for watching guys and there's probably going to be a little bit of footage playing without me talking and enjoy the rest of the vlog much love Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe. <laughs>